hello everyone welcome to this video so in this video we are going to learn how to implement a uh, pagination in react application very easily and this is because the library we are going to use makes it even more easier to implement pagination in your react applications so if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video and uh, click the notification for more future videos like this so let's go straight into the code and let me show you how to do this so this library we are going to use is called mantine it's a mantine hook and it's from mantine.dev so on mantine on mantine.dev when you go here you can go to the mantine hook section and as you can see here there are a lot of hooks here that you can use and the one we are going to be using is this pagination one and as you can see from here it is very very easy and they have a very good documentation about this as well as you can see use pagination you just import use pagination for mantine and you assign it to a pagination instance and here you specify something like a total the initial page you can do something like pagination dot range which is going to give you the ranges like the number of pages you have and you can do set page next so if you have next and previous buttons you can use these functions on the pagination to go to next and previous pages we also have things like last and first right so yeah you can come here and read more about the documentation as you can see you can do this dot 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 as well right so if the pagination contains something like dots right on the range you can use it to render something like a dot 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 uh, button or a label so yeah let me let me actually show you how to how to use this in in an app so as you can see here i mean it's just a mock application to show you so just contain a list of users traveling to some destination all right so as you can see the name of the user the image and then this is a place they are traveling to and i am using this uh, website called mock api website so when you go to mock api.io it's actually a website you can use to generate mock data from the mock data and um, so here as you can see I created this API endpoint um, called Travelers, and then here I'm using Fika.js to generate random products. Uh, so just the name, avatar, destination, country, uh, city, then image. Now once you actually set it up here, you can actually customize the number of options you want to get back when you hit the endpoint. And by the way, this uh, this website actually supports all the CRUD operations on like your rest api endpoints so you can actually perform read uh, update delete and also create um, but yeah in this tutorial i'm only going to do the fetch so once you finish you can copy this endpoint and then this is the resource i am going to be using called travelers so once i copy this endpoint and i come and paste it in my browser like this I am going to get these results right so as you can see here I get a lot of random data and as you can see the number of data I'm getting here is 20 as you can see from the ID here all right that's because I set the limit to 20 so here I am making an API I'm making a fetch request using the same endpoint as you can see here right and I am setting this travelers list, travelers data in my state, and that is what I am displaying here. So, if I show you what I have, basically it's going to show this loading if there is no data, and it's going to show this travelers component if there is data. Right? So, if I refresh it, it's initially going to show the small loading label, and then when it fetches the data, as you can see here, then it shows the list. When I check the travelers component here, I have just a card, and here is where I am displaying the data. So I'm showing the avatar, the name, the country, and then the city. Right? That's the destination details. Right? 
and as you can see here at the moment it shows all the data which is a bit longer right and uh, whatever world application you want to implement something like a pagination to show some part of the data initially and then be able to click on buttons to go to like the next pages and stuff like that right? so let's see how we can use mountain hooks to do something like this so I've installed mountain hooks right, so if I show you my package.json here I have mountain hooks installed so you can just do npm install at mountain hooks uh, the instruction is also on their website so once you install this um, you just have to go to the component you want to implement the pagination inside and the first thing is to in is to import the use pagination hook All right, so I have imported this for mountain hooks I'm going to first of all create a constant here and say uh, items per page and I want my items per page to be six so I want to show six items on a page at a particular point in time Right, so I'm going to say 6 but you can actually put any number here based on the number of items you want to show on your page right, so if I come here I am going to use my uh, use pagination right. so first of all you're going to create a constant call it pagination and here you call the use pagination hook that you imported up there Right, and inside here we are going to pass a couple of options to use pagination so it accepts an object and here we are going to do total right, so the first option we are going to pass is called total like this and with a total you can actually set it to um, like any number it depends on uh, the number of pages you want to have so if I set it to three it means I'm going to have three pages All right. and here we are going to say in initial page and all the time initial page is going to start from one which is basically the first page uh, on change which is going to basically change whenever you click on any of the page buttons so for now let me just do something like a uh, page so you get a page uh, and here you can actually do whatever you want to do in this uh, callback function so let me just uh, do console.log page uh, I mean at least for now let me because I'm not doing an R function let me just do it like this uh, so first of all let me actually let me actually um, use the items per page to show my initial page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a use state up here right, use state from react let me generate that and then make sure I import use state alright so here I am going to call it visible travelers and then I'm going to do set visible travelers Right, and then initially what I want to do is I am going to so based on the length of my based on the length of my the number of travelers I have I am going to do a slice so I am going to do uh, travelers I'm supposed to be this dot right now I can do slice because it's a list and I'm going to start from zero and then to items uh, per page right, so this slice is actually going to slice some part of the array and right, then I return a new array so from the travelers list and then I'm going to return it and set it for this tr uh, visible travelers uh, list here so basically instead of showing all the pages here using the travelers I'm going to rather put the visible travelers here and then once I save this yeah I should come back to just six items uh, initially but as you can see at the moment we don't have any buttons to click to change pages so what I'm going to do is 
uh, as you can see from the documentation one time documentation you get a range as, and the range is going to return all of the number of uh, it's going to return the number of pages you have um, so here well, where I'm going to put a buttons I can come here and then I can do pagination dot range as you can see and here is going to be the range All right, and then for now I'm going to put just a simple button here and I'm going to put the range here just for you to see okay. and then when I save it wait for this to refresh um, yeah so it's a list I need to do a map here that's why I have the arrow All right, so I'm going to do pagination dot range dot map and I'm looping through and then I'm going to render I'm going to render patterns for like all the ranges I have so here I'm getting the arrow because I need to pass the key so I'm going to use range as well so once I do this and it loads as you can see here I get three uh, three pages here and uh, if I go to if I click here it's not gonna be able to go to the next page because I don't have the unclick implementation so what I can do here is to actually implement this on change handler All right, so here I'm going to calculate the start and end pages whenever I click on uh, on any of the buttons all right, so here I'm going to say constant start and this is the new starting uh, index which is going to be page minus one all right, so I'm going to put this basically in a bracket here because I'm going to multiply it by items per page Uh, so in this case it is going to calculate the start so if I do console.log start for example like this and then on the button here so on click pagination dot set page right and here we are going to pass range alright so let me make sure I put a callback function in here because I would run into issue if I don't do that so once I save it and I get this and I try to click on one of these alright so let's check this one so as you can see my console log here is zero now if I click on the next one Alright, so as you can see, the next one is going to start from six. Right, so it's going to start from the sixth sit item. So initially, it start from zero, and then now it will start from the sit item. If I click on the third one, it's going to start from the twelfth item. Right. So that is basically how it is going to it is going to calculate it and. Uh, if this console log is confusing you like if I open the actual console from here you are going to see that as well and so as you can see the start it's from 0 and then 6 and then 12 right. so that's how I'm going to calculate my start and then I am also going to calculate my end right, so it's going to start from here and then where is it going to end right so call it end and then here I say start plus items per page. Need the equal to sign here. Right, and I do items per page like this. So once I do this, it means I can now recalculate my visible travelers whenever this changes. So here I'm going to set a new start and end anytime we click on a button right, so here we are going to do travelers so let me actually copy this again 
copy that here and now the start is going to be start and then end like this so if I save it and I click on this shows the first page this shows the second page as you can see here this shows the third page right now as you can see we have just 18 items showing but our items are more than 18 showing three uh, we're showing six items on a page and it it's showing only three pages and that is because that is exactly what we set here right we said the total pages should be three so even if you have like 100 items it is only going to show three pages right so the way we are going to calculate the total here is we're going to use math to actually calculate the total pages based on the items per page and the length of our travelers list so we here we're going to say constant total is equal to now we're going to do maths dot c right and then uh, maths dot seal is basically rounded to the uh, nearest uh, whole number and uh, here we're going to do travelers dot length right and then we're going to divide it by items per page so the length is gonna be this right, so what is going to do is probably if we have 20 items it is going to divide it by 6 which means we are going to get um, 3 point something and then we are going to seal it so it's going to be 4 so we're going to get 4 pages basically and here we can use a uh, total like this and once we do this now we have four pages and so even if we increase the number of uh, the number of items we get maybe to something like 40 let's click on it to 40 and here I am going to refresh this that means we're going to get like um, yeah seven pages as you can see here right so this is the first page get the second page let's get a third page fourth page third set and this is the last page showing four items so here at the moment you can't actually see the you can't actually see the page you are you are actually on so it will be nice to highlight maybe yeah, the page you are on at a moment so yeah mountain makes it very easy to do that as well so where we have the button we can actually add a class name here which i have a style for that already that is an active class so here i'm going to say class name i'm going to use javascript and do pagination All right, so you can get pagination dot Alright, so we have this active property which is going to be a number right so we are going to check if it is the same as the range that is the current button we've actually clicked on which is showing the label here now if it is then we want to set this active active class name if not uh, basically don't set any class name so empty and once I save it you'd see that yeah because we're on the last page this one is going to highlight so yeah you can use this active property to highlight whichever page you are on at the moment All right cool so yeah I want to do this before I leave um, so for example I can increase this even a bit more to like um, let's say 60 right so half 60 and let me show you what I mean so if I refresh this right now right so you can see here because it is a lot we have this dots uh, label showing here right so what we are going to do is 
we can do a simple if check here and say if range is equal to if range is equal to dot uh, as we see here so if range is equal to dot what do we want to show so we basically want to render a button but then put a dot 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 there okay. so here we're gonna say show this if not then uh, show this instead so this is supposed to be 3 and once we do this and I save it see that yeah it's gonna replace that with that dot 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 Right, so once you get to 5 then it's gonna show 6 you get to 7 it's gonna show this and then because we are 10 it's gonna show all the last pages and then the dots 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 is gonna move to here very very cool right. so yeah this is this is basically how to implement a pagination in your react application using Mantine hooks very very easy that's it thank you for watching this tutorials and i am going to see you in the next video